Hello, Sean with Bye Mate Lawn Care. Just going to do another vlog today. I've got uh, four yards to get through today. Should be pretty quick and easy. Um, just put my boots on to show you something because I've had some people actually ask me. I just wear footy socks. These cost me bloody six bucks from Lowe's. Um, the reason for that, oh, I hate wearing trousers. Can't stand them. And anyone in this industry knows that your shins cop a pretty big whack and blood and scabs and all that crap. So it's just a bit of protection when I'm doing the, the trimming. Simple as that. Let's get to work. from this bloody bit here, he's only pushing. So I mentioned in the last vlog um, that I hit the gym every day before I start. Today was no different, of course. Um, the only problem was, bloody leg day. So I just did 60 heavy squats, you know, plus the leg extensions and the lunges and, and calf raises and all that crap that goes with it. And I finished half an hour before I started. So I hadn't even bloody body's just wasn't quite prepared to be pumping up the pumping up a bloody hill again. Part of the fun, isn't it? It's all right, get out of the back. So here's the back. It's pretty thin again, it's just lots of clover and uh, dandelions. Pretty standard around here. Not everyone's too fast about the weeds, I just like it looking neat. It's fine by me. And a little bit more about that same amount again around the corner. Now this bit here, uh, once upon a time was a garden bed, so it's all lumpy, not quite. Not very even, definitely not going to get a lawnmower up there. Um, so, but I will smash that whole bit with my whipper snipper. Yeah, takes it out of me, but a bit of fun. Alrighty, let's get to work. Now the 
client doesn't really want this whole bit perfect. Don't really, not fast about it. Um, it's more just to keep the snakes at bay, uh, especially this time of year, springtime and summer. Yeah, it's, it's brown snake season and just across the road, um, it's uh, farmland. So snakes will travel um, through the suburb and this is the first port of call. So they always nest in the long grass and hang around. So that's all I'm trying to achieve here, just tidy it up, not make it immaculate as such. Yeah, anyway, let's go. It's not the prettiest, but it's what the client wanted. We'll keep the brown snakes away. So, happy with that. Let's mark. <laughs> for this stage a little tiny bit overgrown out the back but should still only get it done in about an hour hour or so so here we go yeah, nothing special looks like all the others that i do okay let's get it done Asked me if I could do a little bit of weeding, 
Um, she described it to me. Uh, just because I hadn't actually seen the yard before I got here. And she described it pretty accurately. So I was happy to factor in a little bit of extra time and I quoted her accordingly. And here we are. So I just smashed down the side there with my whipper snipper because there's a lot of grass pretty much coming from under the fence to the neighbor's lawn. It wasn't really too many weeds. But I'm just going to go ahead and pick all these out by hand. It'll probably take me about three minutes. inside a bloody car out the front of the school filming the place <laughs> um, but it's yeah this time of day like school pickups in 15 minutes and usually parents are just fighting over, over parking spots like bloody you know flies on shit so it's this is nothing short of miraculous even when I've, I've done this house done this property um, like on a weekend or you know something where it's not normally a school rush I struggle to get a park because it's quite a busy road but I'm going to take that as a bloody good win and hopefully it's on to things to come. So here's the front. That's it. Easy as. It'll take me oh, 10 minutes I reckon to have that edged cut and blown. I'll show you at the back now. Going a little bit since last time. You can see there it's pretty, pretty long. That's probably about a foot long. But that's okay. It's only been two weeks. I've had quite a lot of rain. It's been muggy conditions. Um, this will take me a bit longer, probably take me about 40 minutes out of the back here. But I'll try and smash it all out. Alrighty, let's get to work. <laughs>
that I didn't uh, get to show you the front. Kind of got the gist of it anyway, seen uh, the before picture, not much to it. Um, this next one, quite a lot of uh, whip snipping. Um, just the garden beds, uh, a lot of them are pretty empty garden beds, but just get a bit of grass kind of going to them and the vine just, just wants them kept down. Uh, not unlike that first one I did today. Uh, the, remember the one with the trying to get the brown snakes at bay? Similar sort of thing, just doesn't have to be perfect, just whack it with the whip snipper um, and just tidy it up a bit. So here we are, last one of the day, and here it is. Literally just what you can see this front yard and this, that bit over there, the, the furthest bit, that's all there is, just there, and that's the backyard. Here's those garden beds I was talking about. They're just literally grass. They're just, I don't get them back to bare dirt and they're everywhere, like around the whole yard, up there, there, in the front yard as well. So all that, that bit, that bit there.
Oh yeah, ladies and gents. That's me done for the day. Very good one. See you next time.